What's good with y'all, bro? And welcome back to another episode of the Sun Be My Black. Welcome back to another episode of Snow Blunt Talk. I'm your host, Kyle, and today we're going to be talking about how everything is perception. Now, shout out to my homie Paul Pablo. He is Perfection of Pablo on YouTube. He made kind of similar content to mine when I make like the philosophical content, but he's definitely more on like focused on the philosophical and spiritual aspect of it all shout out to him go check out his channel because he commented on my last video you know when i asked for suggestions i want to make videos on or like said you know should i drop this video my everything is perception video which this is he said yeah bro go ahead and drop the everything is perception video so shout out to you pablo i'm gonna go ahead and do it now so i could sit here and tell you about how everything is perception but I wanna, um, I wanna use this visual metaphor that I use to describe this concept time and time again. All right, let's say you see a lion eating a gazelle. All right, some people may see that as a lion being predatory and being terrible and not caring about that gazelle's family or what the gazelle had to do later or even the gazelle's kids that was coming home from second grade. And they're gonna be like, okay. Some people will see that as that lion, you know, going out into nature and conquering and taking what's his and feeding his own family because that's what the lion has to do. And those people will be like, wow, that lion is commendable because that lion went out, saw something for their family grasped it and took it but at the end of the day was the lion right was the lion wrong there's no such thing as that because everything is perception every one of us are subject to seeing things through right wrong good bad great horrible through all the stimuli we've been exposed to in the past and it's not even this stuff you might have had to consciously experience. It could have been stuff that went straight to your subconscious. You don't know why, but you just don't like to taste something. You don't like the smell of something. There is a multitude of reasons because, you know, throughout every day, our minds pick up so much information. There's a multitude of reasons why we may not like something. So that's why I say everything is perception and perception is such a variable because you don't know how someone's seeing the world and why they see the world that way. Someone could perceive you as super weird and stupid, and another person could perceive you as super smart and eccentric. That's just how they've adapted their life to perceive the kind of stimuli you're giving them. At the end of the day, we all just existed out here. The sky, someone told me it was blue, so I started saying it was blue. You know what I'm saying? Like, this everything is perception mindset is like a double-sided coin, you know? Because on one hand, it makes you judge people less because you don't know what they went through to look at things the way they do and interpret things the way they do. But on the other hand, you could just appreciate stimuli for what it is. Like, I feel like uh, Oscar Wilde touched on this in the preface to Dorian Gray. He said something along the lines of um, people who look at beautiful things and create beautiful meanings for themselves, these are the ones who have hope. Because if you look at something, you see something beautiful, chances are, your mind is more adapted to notice the beauty in things. See, really what we all take from this world and what we all think about our lives is just a reflection of our past beliefs. Because this everything's perception. It don't even it don't even come to just physical stimuli. It could be your whole life. Most people will look at themselves if they have no money, no job, they're not going to school. They they most people see a dried out well rather than a fresh dug ditch that's ready to get poured into with the blessed rain. You see, this could extend to your life. That's why people are so unhappy these days because they look at their lives and we're trained to be dissatisfied by society because, you know, if we're always dissatisfied, we're, always, we're more susceptible to being controlled by someone else's opinion, someone else's thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you think your life sucks, you, if someone offered a cure right in your face like college so if someone offered a cure right in your face and say yeah go ahead and spend this money on um, four years and you don't know what the hell you doing here 
you would take it because you're in a vulnerable position, bro. As above, so below. Everything that goes on in this world, it's like it, this world is hella spiritual and people don't realize it. So when you go around perceiving your experience, your human experience is terrible. Guess what? It's going to keep being terrible. But at the same time, it could be the greatest place you could be at in your life right now. And the only difference between a certain part of your life being the best part and a certain part of your life being the worst part is how you perceive it. You can perceive anything the way you want to. You can receive anything the way you want to. I could think this is an iPhone. Who gonna stop me from thinking it's an iPhone? Bitch ass nigga, I'ma be on that shit, fucking poo poo. I'ma film videos on that, and you can't tell me nothing. Cause only you and your beliefs could really keep you truly satisfied, truly on your own pivot in this world. And I'm not saying to be delusional and just shut everybody out. I'm just saying. If you want to live a happy, successful life, what's most important is you have to form your own perception of yourself that's positive. And people can disagree, people can critique you. That doesn't mean you're wrong, but you can just interpret that in a way that allows you to feel more comfortable growing into it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you go around, you look at yourself in the mirror, you say, wow, I'm the finest nigga in this motherfucker. Like, I'm hot as hell. No, I'm literally hot as hell, like the sun beating my ass. But, you know, you're like, I'm I'm sexy, you know what I'm saying? I'm way too sexy for this shirt. I'm way too sexy, but I don't want to overdo the shirtless outside thing. And then someone could walk past you and be like, damn, you. Okay. Most people would say, wow, some random person told me, I'm guess, I guess I'm ugly now. Bro. That's the stupidest shit you could do. Cause first of all, you don't know where that nigga's coming from. First of all, that nigga A, could be mad as hell. B, jealous as hell. C, different beauty stuff. You see how many variables I'm coming up with all the dome as to why someone could see someone differently as you? And even at that, let's say you do take his uh, little little roast a, a, a bit. A tad bit seriously, yeah. All that means is, my nigga, like if you, you you probably start doing like, you'd be like, uh, okay. I might start doing some skincare, work on his jawline, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and let's say, you know, you was already beautiful. Don't, let your, let your opinions of yourself be well thought over, informed, and conscious of the Northern Star. Because the idea is to know thyself, but not always be self-conscious. Know yourself and still be able to still be able to use discretion to try and find you know where certain things people might tell you about yourself might hold true because that's another thing you can't just shut out everyone else's perception because they might see things that you can't quite see and that could be very beneficial to you so you don't want to leave that just like everything in life you want to use discretion and moderation i know if you're anything like me it's very exciting to just jump into the extremes of it all and be like, no, I'm not caring about anyone's opinions of me. I'm only doing me. But I'll tell you right now, it's, it's a way to live, but it probably won't get you, you know, that holistic growth and satisfaction that you're looking for. So first of all, you know yourself best. So you have the most evidence to form a perception on. You have your whole brain to change the way you look at your life scenarios, the way you look at your own looks, the way you look at what you've done, your accomplishments. So go ahead, see yourself as an ever-growing, evolving person who's beautiful inside and out and is living the best life they could possibly live right now, doing what they came here to do. Just like that, clip this part of the video. I might clip it and repeat it every single day. Tell yourself that you beautiful. You doing what you came here to do. You got purpose, you got drive, you have power. You a badass mother that won't take no crap off of nobody. This ain't no cool runnings, but everything is perception, even when it comes to your own. So do the shadow work. Don't let your past beliefs keep on creating a negative reality for you. And don't let other people and whatever bullshit they've gone through in their life affect your reality or how you see things. Because at the end of the day, man, when you was born, you was made aware of all this. And when you die, you won't be aware of this no more. So do you really care to seriously incorporate 
other people's perception of their own experience into your own experience that you came here to experience as yourself sounds confusing but think about it my name is kyle and you just watched no blunt talk make sure to like subscribe and uh look in the mirror find yourself staring at a work of art it's not a day off flip the switch on type of thing but you know if you the type of person who looks in the mirror and looks for flaws today i want you to find one good quality one solid good quality one quality nobody can take away from you and the next day do the same thing and the next day and the next day i want you to walk around the world thinking and your of your interactions being like wow i'm really funny wow i'm really smart and the next day think of something else and if you don't have something, then go get it. If you wanna be smarter, go read. If you wanna be more athletic, go work. You see how much of a playground this world could be if people just let go of their negative perceptions of life and themselves? This is your video game, bro. You could do whatever you want. You, 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 we literally born with stats and then we could go improve them of our own volition. That's crazy to me, but that's just my perception. And I'm thinking that I want to perceive that this video should be over soon. So let me not hold y'all too much. My name is Kyle. Thank you for tuning in to Stoblet Talk. Take care of yourself. I'm signing out.